Commander, welcome. Let's get started right away. Of course. I'm sure time isn't on our side. It so rarely is. Galena Rands, I'm the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic. But don't hold that against me. It's an honor to meet you, Chancellor. Honor's all mine. Haven't gotten to come to a briefing like this since my time in the 439th Bomber Wing. This is Fleet Admiral Newman. He'll be commanding the naval aspects of Corellia's defense. A challenge, to be sure. But thanks to the reinforcements we've received, one that we can overcome. All right, then. How do we defend Corellia? How do we save the Meridian Complex shipyard? The captured Dark Counselor, Darth Savick, revealed much about the enemy fleet's capabilities. But she didn't know their attack plan. I've positioned our ships for maximum flexibility. Rapid reaction is our best hope. How can the Alliance fleet help with the battle? I'd like to keep them hidden on the far side of the planet Talus. Once we've seen the Empire's strategy, they can hyper-jump in wherever they'll be most effective. Savik has also revealed that the Imperial Armada will include a group of dreadnoughts equipped with Isotope 5 generators, and another with silencer superweapons. Meaning? The Isotope 5 ships will be much faster than standard, with far stronger shields. The silencers can destroy capital ships in a single shot. What do we have that can go up against weapons like those? We had hoped Admiral Revald's null cannons would be available in time. But the prototypes are still too unstable to deploy. All right, that's everything in orbit. How about planet side? Anti-aircraft turrets and defensive shielding are already in place. So long as they remain operational, the facility will be safe from aerial attack. And our ground forces? We've deployed as many soldiers as possible to the Meridian complex. But it was built as a shipyard, not a fortress. We can only station so many troops in the facility before we end up leaving them exposed. So, the rest are positioned as close by as possible. I've gathered as many Jedi as I could to join the defense, including volunteers from Corellia's Green Jedi. But there are still too few to repel a significant Sith contingent. Commander, we'd like you and your Alliance forces to join the ground defense group and help tip the odds in our favor. We'll be ready for anything the Empire throws at us. Sounds like everyone knows their job. The Republic's counting on you, friends. If we're gonna put up a decent fight going forward, we need that shipyard. Make us all proud. Safe travels. Newman out. We'll make our way to Corellia in my personal ship. There should be just enough time to cook up a nice Rishkate and a pot of Gatalenton before we arrive. Tao informed me of Arn's difficulties on Meksha. It meant a lot to her that you understood her concerns and being excluded from the situation. Recognizing when help is needed can be very important, but recognizing who should be giving that help, that can be even more important. I should have given Tao the chance to help. She's actually doing a very good job with Arn. Just as I expected. Now then, enough talk. We have a battle to win, don't we? Not to mention, I was in a Bacta tank the last time Deirun brewed this tea of his. I want to see what all the fuss is about. But you must admit, it's hardly the Sith approach. I've grown far stronger working beside her than I ever could have become through treachery. Intriguing. I suppose the Sith Code never specifically calls for the usurpation of the Master by the Apprentice. Merely the pursuit of greater power. Precisely. It's only natural that the strongest should lead, but the goal should be strength, not necessarily leadership. If one is truly strong, leadership comes inevitably. A unique point of view among the Sith. Perhaps that's why we aren't among the Sith now. Passing the time with a bit of philosophical discussion? Yes. Quite enjoyably, in fact. I hope we can speak more later. Exiting hyperspace in the Corellia system, now. Groups 4 and 5, position Orc 9. 6, 7, and 8, staggered column behind them. Darun here. Report. The enemy arrived ahead of schedule. They're split into three groups we've designated Hound, Raptor, and Swarm. Energy signatures tell us Hound group contains the Isotope 5 dreadnoughts. They're approaching our lines head-on at maximum speed. Following behind, Raptor Group, vertical halo formation to maximize field of fire. The silencers, covering Hound Group's approach. Swarm Group contains the bulk of the attacking fleet. 
It dropped out of hyperspace on the far side of the planet, well out of weapons range. Objective unknown. Understood. How can we help? Approach in the vector we're sending now to avoid Raptor Group's targeting range. Then make for the surface. Admiral, it's Slam Group. The vessel open fire. Open fire on what? We're out of range. They aren't firing on us. They're firing on the surface, the cities. Residential, manufacturing. It's totally indiscriminate. We have to stop them. Thousands, even millions could die. Redeploying any of our ships will weaken our defensive blockade significantly. There is the Alliance fleet, but we need them to trap the silencers. Forget the plan. Those people need us. Admiral Ego, get to the far side of Corellia. Stop the Imperials any way you can. Copy that. Moving out. What the? Reading multiple new targets. They must have been hidden by Hound's energy signatures. They're going to beat us to the surface. All shuttles, prepare for launch. A wave of Imperial dropships beat us to the surface. We're in for a fight. Finally, solid ground. Nice flying. Arn, are you ready? I'm ready. We'll follow your lead. Time to kick the Empire off Corellia for good. All teams report in. Everyone make it groundside? Our team is alright. We've passed the outer defenses. All clear in our sector. We're heading for a tram pylon nearby. Jorgen wants to set up a sniper perch. Good here too. Taking a more subtle approach. If I say it over the con, it would kind of defeat the purpose. It's just business as usual here. <laughs> That's, uh, good to hear. Stay in contact. Out. Materials, this battle, seeing it all in person, it's, it's a lot to take in. Don't let the chaos break your focus. The Force will guide you through it all, if you let it. I try.
We've spotted a large group of Imperial reinforcements. We're going to hold this position and try to head them off. Do you need help? We'll back her up. You keep moving. Quite a team you've got. Should we help them? We've handled a lot of crazy situations over the years. They'll be fine. The Salonian tunnels were being overrun!
located in Sector 8. Requesting backup at my location. Targets suppressed. I'm calling down air support on their location. The last ISO-5 dreadnought has regrouped with the rest of the imps. Can anyone assist? Leave them to us. Mando Ade, prepare for boarding. operational. We can take it up to the spire. We'll keep this area secure. Darth Malagus has been spotted leading an attack group toward the control center. We have to hurry! best to hold off the imps, but a few units have gotten past us. They were heading toward the auxiliary shield controls on the 30th floor. the control center requesting immediate backup repeat Malgus has Clear? All clear. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you! It's you. After all these years, you came to rescue me. Tharon, is it really you? Of course it's me. Who else would the Republic trust to build a state-of-the-art facility chock full of cutting-edge exotechnology? Wait, his name's Theron too? But if you didn't know I was here, then... You must be here to stop the Imperials, I suppose. Which is good, too! I'm surprised Holiday isn't here. Is she safe? Safer than all of us. She's far from here. Nothing to worry about. Commander! Tau, Arn. We're all right, old man. And this is? Theron Sedrax. Foremost authority on exotechnology and principal systems engineer of this once fine facility. Where's Darth Malgus? Ah, you'll be quite proud of me. I diverted him when I calculated that our physical security was 
insufficient. I rerouted all facility defense systems to a secondary control station near the top of the spire. It's a miracle that you survived to tell us. How did you manage it? Once I established my dedication to the pacifist ethos, I was deemed non-threatening and merely stunned. Presumably they recognized my genius and intended to press me into service. The Sith Lord, Malgus? He and the last of his troops set off up the elevators toward the secondary controls. You're not too late to stop them. If you read me, you better hunker down. Some of the reinforcements got past us and they are not in a great mood. We can hold this level with our troops. You three, go on. Malgus must be stopped. Come with us, we can fight him together. No, seeing me alive will only fuel his rage even further. This is your fight, all three of you. Fight as one, and you can defeat him. May the Force be with you. Malgus! I hoped it would be you. I've been looking forward to this. And Tower Dare. Didn't you bring that old fool with you? I'm told he survived our last encounter. Couldn't kill one poor old Jedi. You're slowing down in your old age. Am I? Alert! Shield power decreasing. Shield system failure imminent. Shall we die together? You think we'd give up so easily? I think I will kill you easily. Think again. years ago. I will show you the true nature of destruction. None of you have the resolve, the strength to beat me. Resistance is commendable, but futile. I should have known it wasn't just a story. If anyone could destroy him, it was you. No matter. I will not fail. Your shipyard will crumble. Your Republic will burn. Will not fail. Shield system failure. Structural damage detected. Evacuation protocols in effect. Shield power restored. 
Structural support units deployed. Fire suppression systems activated. External defensive systems restored. Targeting hostiles. Now! All forces, our assault has failed. The shields cannot be penetrated. Regroup at RV Point Crush. Now! We've done it. All ships, regroup at the Meridian Complex. Secure any remaining enemy forces on the surface and prepare search and rescue teams for deployment. We've won the impossible battle. But the day isn't over until we've gotten everyone home safely. Get to it. The conquering hero. You saved the day again. Well done. It wasn't easy, but we pulled it off. We're getting a mountain of good intel out of the captured soldiers and ship crews, not to mention data from the wreckage. Exciting times, but I won't keep you. Just wanted to pass on my congratulations. See you around. Well, if it isn't one of my new favorite people. Tao escaped with only minor injuries. She'll be along shortly. Arn's recovery will take longer, but he'll be all right. All Corellia forces are still on alert, but it would seem Malgus has escaped us once again. One miss in a day full of hits. We'll get him eventually. The production lines are firing back up in a matter of days. We'll get new ships to our frontline units in no time. The Empire committed a lot to this attack. They're gonna be hurting for a while, and we'll be ready to press the advantage. Malgus almost had us with this attack. What are we doing to track him down? If any ships had exited the system toward Imperial space, we'd know about it. Hmm, perplexing to say the least. So what am I supposed to do with you? The hero of the Republic who's not in the Republic, at least not for some years now. I believe there's a simple solution, Chancellor. I agree. Consider this your formal invitation, Commander. Come back to us. Join the Republic. And bring all your friends and your planet with you. I've looked forward to this day for a long time, Chancellor. I'd be proud to return to the Republic. We'd be honored to have you. But let me give you the details before we sign anything. Odessan becomes a member world of the Republic, with a senator and everything. Every one of your people, even the ones with criminal charges or intelligence files with frowny faces on them, they all get clean records and citizenship if they want it. What's more, you'll be heading a new initiative we're cooking up. One I think you'll like. General? Task Force Nova. A joint military and civilian effort to help the Jedi rebuild their order. My research suggests that there are still countless Jedi scattered across the galaxy. We will find them, and we will build them a new home. You're not planning to rebuild on Tython? Tython will remain a stronghold of the Jedi, but we have been separated from the rest of the galaxy for too long. Our new home should be found amongst the people of the Republic, not hidden away. Rebuilding the Jedi means rebuilding the Jedi High Council. I can think of no one I would rather welcome as this new Council's first member. Your unique experiences and wisdom must be documented for future generations. A crucial task for the Master of Hidden Knowledge. I'll be your liaison with the Republic military. We'll provide security, reconnaissance, and intelligence support. That's quite an offer. Of course, if you'd rather keep the Alliance as it is, that's fine too. You'll still be our top ally, and we'll still want your help with the task force. But the rest, the titles, the areas of responsibility, that's all a package deal for signing up. So, back to the Republic and the Jedi, or stick with the Alliance as is. I've been away from the Republic 
and the Jedi for too long. Count me in. Welcome to the Galactic Republic. Now then, this is going to take quite a bit of paperwork. Until next time. Master. I'm told I may need to invest in some brighter clothing. It'll take some time to redecorate Odessa to coincide with our new allegiance, but I'll have the process started as soon as possible. Fitting in with the Republic, with the Jedi, should be interesting. Nost Doral, at least, seems open-minded enough. Told you he was all right. Even so, I think I'll keep my more proactive methods to myself from this point on. Shall we stop by the cantina? I understand one of the generals is offering free drinks for anyone with an impressive Corellia story. After the action we saw, we'll bankrupt the poor guy. Well, if he wasn't ready for the risks, he shouldn't have started the tab. Hey, need a minute of your time. By all means. Arn is still in the med bay on one of the corvettes. They didn't want to risk moving him. Still a lot of work to do. I tried to help him as we fell, to reach out in the Force, but we just weren't synced up. Even so, we both survived against Darth Malgus. That wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been there. Thanks. It could have gone a lot worse. I'm glad you made it through. On that subject, when Arn and I were buried in all of that wreckage, we didn't dig ourselves out. We had help. From who? From them. Kira Carson, Jedi Knight. Lord Scourge, not a Jedi Knight. You attacked me on Mech Shah. And I gladly apologize. It was a necessary test. A test that you passed. What are you talking about? The Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Valkorion, whatever his name. He was a part of you. We all felt his destruction, but... He has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. If you were testing me, it must have been for a reason. We believe you might be the only one who can help us. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessan. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. 